In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily create and manipulate sections, as well as how you can apply section hatching to them using Plusbeck for SketchUp. First thing you need to do is you need to set up your scenes using the Plusbeck scene tool, as this will automate the majority of this process for you. I've already done this, and as you can see, I've got uh, my floor plans, elevations, sections, and so forth. So if I were to click into one of my floor plans, and I orbit out, you'll see that it's automatically uh, cutting through my project. However, I need to activate my section so I can see it, so that I can move it if I want to reposition it. And the way that you do this is that you click on the section icon called Toggle Section Display. If you can't find this in your version, you need to set it up using your tool palettes, if you're using a Mac, or your toolbar if you're using a PC. Once you've activated it, you can now see it, and that means you can left click it to activate it uh, and or select it. And now you can use the M on your keyboard or the move tool, left click it and move it up or down and left click to reposition. As you can see though, all of the sections are hollow. So now you can apply a solid section hatching by simply right clicking on the section, hovering over the plus section hatching, and this will open the plus spec section dialog. In here, you can assign different symbols and colors to all of the different materials or components in your project. You can also create your own symbols or colors if we don't have them by simply clicking on the Create Material tool. When you're happy, you just press Submit. If I now toggle the section to hide it, you'll see that I now have a solid uh, section over all of my uh, walls. Now, the sections are parametric. Uh, so if you want to change your hatching at any time, you can simply right click on the section again and go back into the dialog, like all of the Plusbeck tools, and change uh, any of the symbols or colors accordingly. If you do make a change to your project, uh, you just have to understand that you do need to change the position of your section hatching so that it will actually update and automatically regenerate. So for example, if I was to go back into the all mode and use the Plusbeck push and pull to move this out, you're going to see that if I go back into my floor plan, uh, the section hasn't updated. So again, it's a very simple process. All you need to do is activate or toggle the uh, section, select it, and then just move it. And now it will automatically uh, regenerate. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is the mitre. And as you should know that the Plusbeck walls uh, display the mitre when your walls are connected in a smart way so that you can push and pull them and they understand their relationships at all times. However, in your plans, you won't want these shown. So if I go back into my floor plan, for example, you can simply go into your layers and you can untick the hidden on plan. And this is going to hide your mitres you can now right click on that scene and update it so it remembers it. However, it is very important to know that if you do make a change to your project, and you do need to move your section up or down to automatically regenerate the section, you do need the hidden on plan ticked. So if you have unticked it, make sure you tick it before you move the section. 